I think we're live. They're telling me to run an ad. That's a sure sign that we're live. Now, I want this to be on top, and they they really oh yeah, well they they just moved it there. They're moving things around on me on OBS. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Everything okay? You just watch two ad. All good. Sounds good. Can you hear me? Can you? We got sound. Ben says it looks and sounds great. And you know what? I believe him because he's Canadian, and Canadians they they got a you know they got a sense for that. And they they generally generally don't lie. I think the cat is there. I think she's up in the window. And now that my wife has gone out, and Ben might be home, <clears throat> but if Ben is not here, if he goes out, is his car here? His car, Ben's car is in here, and my wife went out. That raises the probability of a buddy appearance to near infinity. Yeah. Sounds good, yeah. So this is my normal, this is a patch I use all the time. This is that Ingve patch. But I just put that new stone phase in it. It's called like phase stone, you know, phase stone. But it does sound good. It's got a couple, we'll get all into it. It's got a couple of modes and... Um, this is, I, I think this is mode one, which is the lighter mode, or is this mode two, which is the, this is mode two. So this is the more like, this is the more in your face mode, like really, there's another one that's more subtle, like mode one, which is nice, especially when you have the rate really slow, it's just like this nice little backdrop to it. Um, or you can turn the rate up and it's not so in your face because it's a lighter, you know, sort of effect. Uh, this is the other one, though. This is the... This one's, like, really gnarly. This has got the gnarls. The gnarl sparkly. And I, I'm pretty sure that is a cat ass like right there <laughs> i think maybe not maybe she jumped down but she was up there oh that's good oh that's good oh it's named exactly it's named ingve j just so you don't know the other ingve what about ingve k malmstein huh does anybody remember ingve k malmstein nobody Really takes a, like you've taken a bowl of shrooms. I hear they're going to they've legalized or they're going to legalize or they just legalized uh, shrooms in Colorado. Organic psychedelics have been decriminalized. That would include mushrooms, probably what peyote, and ayahuasca. I mean, I'm no expert, but. <laughs> That's what I remember from school. <laughs> then you can then you can play this then you can play this uh, this patch, you know. Drop a couple of mushrooms. You know. Yeah. You get all the shoe games going.
That sounds good. But we'll get into it later. Later. When we get into it. What did I tell you? Ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> the reason why I was a little late is because someone had like muted everything on the... Oh, sure. Somebody. We're not quite sure who. But somebody had pressed on the, the mute button. It happens. <laughs> hey, what's up, Al John? It's the Bud Man, the Budster. Oh, poor Buddy, he was stuck with me last weekend. Everybody was out of the house but me. I had a cat by my side. The never ending cat. Right, Buddy? Remember that? What do you say? Sure. Right. Uh-huh. Of, of course. There you have it. Buddy. Speaker of truths. Knocker of glasses. Usually full of water. Oh, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a bud man going. What are we doing? What are we doing? He's like, all right, ten minutes in. When does this end? What are we doing? We have an hour fifty to go here, bud. We got an hour fifty to go, man. Oh my bud. Oh my bud bud. <laughs> you know, you know, buddy buddy likes the camera. He's uh he's quite the ham. Nice acoustic demo this week. Yeah, I like that guitar. It's a um you know, I think uh it was surprisingly bassy and loud. And I think that's why they don't have the sound hole maybe directly under it. Maybe they use the vibration of the strings to actually vibrate the top. And then it sort of comes out that other sound hole. If that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, it's podcast. All right, buddy podcast. Uh, right. Right, right. Exactly. But he says you should break up with him and find someone who respects you. That's going to that's gonna be part of my Buddy Love podcast. Send in your, uh, you know, your romantic woes and Buddy will give you advice. Buddy says move on. <laughs> Uh, bees are smoking hot right now. I know, other than that stupid stumble with that, um, it, uh, that awful, ill-conceived signing, they, they do seem to be a good team. Um, what were they thinking? That, that'll go down as just like, they'll teach that in schools as what not to do. <laughs> that's how, that's how bad that went down. Like, just, a. Just awful. Just absolutely awful. Yeah, exactly. Buddy's love line.
that sounding really seemed to annoy Steve. Well, you know, <clears throat> the kid uh, finally put a, put out a statement. And it was as heartbreaking as you could possibly imagine. They had trouble getting through it on the radio. It was uh, it was just it was just awful, just absolutely heartbreaking. And you know, it it seems like that that dude was like literally bullying that dude in October. It was you know that's how recent it was. It's like this dude is like obsessed with him. It is like crazy. And then the other thing that came out that I think pissed off a bunch of people is I think they got to pay this kid. I think they got to buy out his contract. I, 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 you know, there's a lot of questions coming up with that, but it's like, how much is this, like, absolute, you know, worst human being on the planet, like, literally picking on a disabled kid, like, his whole life, like, like some sort of, like, illness, uh, like some sort of sick, twisted obsession. And they're going to pay this asshole? No. No. That seems... I think I think for a lot of fans, that might be a bridge too far. So we'll, we'll see. <laughs> so I, I just think that... Um, that it, it seems like, and again, because the local media is obsessing about this, that everybody knew about this kid but the Bruins. Maybe they got the agent's side of the story and sort of went with it. But everybody else seemed to know that this dude was a bad dude. And like how they could possibly sign that dude to anything is just... It, it 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 boggles the mind, as Cindy Lauper once said. It boggles the mind. <laughs> there must be some class for being a decent human being. You know, you'd hope that may, you know maybe more in like uh, as a part of the team, but prior, I don't know. You know, it's like they're gonna his his age is probably gonna argue. Well, you should have done your due diligence, and that's what a lot of people are saying. But like, um, oh my God, they read that dude's story. It was like absolutely heart-wrenching. Um, yeah, yeah. Now that, again, you have a team that is killing it. They're doing so great. Everybody's, woo, Bruins, woo, Bruins. It's going so well. <laughs> it's almost like they're like, like how can we... How can we screw this up? How can we possibly ruin this? And they, they found a way. They found a way. <laughs> it just really, really wasn't, uh, yeah. To say I'm annoyed by it, let's just say that that's a, uh, that's a very gracious way to put it. Oh, thank you, Gary. You rock, bro. Happy Stratter Day. It is Saturday. Yeah, 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 exactly. It goggles the mind. <laughs> uh, what's the, uh, what's the line? Um, oh, God, I can't think of it now. From, uh, from the ice skating movie. Chaz Michael Michaels. It, yeah, it bottles the mind. It bottles the mind. That's it. It bottles the mind. You know, like your mind's all bottled up. Thank you. I knew someone would remember the greatness of Chaz. It's mind bottling. I don't know if many people this up, but he was a bad dude. He was a bad dude. Again, we didn't know really just like how much of a jerk the dude was until the the dude who he was harassing like finally put out a statement. And uh, you know, it it was bad. 
Like, the dude was just harassing him, like, just even recently on Snapchat and berating him. Why, why can't you handle things yourself? Why do you have to let your parents handle things for you? You know? And again, this dude is not, you know, he's sort of like mentally disabled. And, it, it, and it, God, it was just, just horrible. And, and he recounted some of the stuff. And it was just, it just tore your heart out. Because I'm sure it's all true. I believe him. You know, and uh, and you wonder if it even would have come to really light if there wasn't a criminal case around it when the dude was like 14. I mean, red flag anybody? <laughs> Got a criminal case? Yeah, it takes a lot to get to the criminal level. And some DA thought to prosecute. It just, it, it just was, oh, again, the team, I think they might have the best record. Do they have the best record in hockey right now? The best, right? Are they at the top of the league for any conference? I think they are. I mean, they're really, they're on fire. Everything's going great, right? It's all goddamn unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? It's like, you know... Yeah, let's, let's, how can we ruin our, right? And again, whoever did that deal, they should be fired. Because, I mean, way to bring the brand down. Really, really, I think put a, a, a big stain on the brand. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and people even go and like, is it, is, this kid better be goddamn Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> It's like, how even good is he? What did we need that we had to even go through all this? And again, it's just, it's just mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. It just, you know, bottles your mind up. Right, buddy? Buddy hears me getting excited. Buddy agrees. He's like, yeah, that kid's a douche. Yeah. The Knights have a better record than the Bruins. I knew they were up there. Oh, yeah, sure, buddy. Come on, come on in. Just drop right in. Uh. Oh, yeah, slap shot, God. That was the, pretty much anybody of a, especially my age, because I was, so you, you know, any hockey kid of the 70s, God, slap shot was the movie. Right, buddy? Oh, buddy's going to lap and lap and lap until I get up. He is uh, hes a restless cat right now. He's got nobody, I think. Yeah, ben, Ben's out, and so is uh, Sherry. So forget about it. I know, bud, buds. I know, buddy. But he's trying to cheer me up. He, he knows I'm very upset. He's my, he's my emotional support cat. It's like I hear the anger in your voice. You're very upset. Let me give you the calming purrs of a cat. It's working. <laughs> oh, God, you are the best. We got a little bit, but he's settling in, settling down. It's an old, it's an old fashioned settle down. It happens. Hold on, let me go over to THG one. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you saw my um, late late show last week, but. Um, if you didn't, we did figure out the ticka ticka of the computer. It was OBS. 
and uh, it was um, uh, when the video encoding was set to software mode. As soon as I set it to hardware mode, it was good to go. I couldn't do it before because I didn't have the latest driver. So I updated to the latest driver and then boom, it worked. And now and that's with single coils. I'm sure I could get some 60 cycle homify, but it's not that tick, 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 that we were getting last week. Uh, what am I playing tonight? This is my Fender Select Strat. It is a select guitar for a select view. Your application, shall it be selected, will be reviewed by a select committee. Okay, basically you just need the money, but yeah. That's the, you know, it's one of them fancy strats. The regular walking, not fancy walking. Thanks, she graves. Oh, it's for Buddy. You know what? Buddy. Buddy, what do you say? I believe that was thank you. He, Buddy is, if, if, any, if anything, polite. He really is. guy up he looks like a douchebag right he's like the poster child for a bully <laughs> he really is he really is he's got the you get the douche chills just looking at him it is selected among the select strats exactly and it comes with the select badge on the back it says i'm rich biatch Says I got select money, bro. You know what they got right now? Uh, let me see if I can find it for you. If it's still there, it could be gone. Let me see if I can call it up here. The reverse. So they made a reverse one of these. And you say, well, what would the reverse look like? Well, glad you asked. The reverse would be a rosewood neck small neck not the big headstock small headstock because that's the opposite of the big rosewood neck because that's the opposite of the maple neck with a maple bird's eye fingerboard channel bound inlaid because that's the opposite of the rosewood dig right it's like the it's opposite land they, they did do an opposite <clears throat> let me see I, I, they might still have it Do, do, do. We'll check right here. What do we got? Because they wanted a lot of money for it. And usually when they do, the, oh yeah, no, it's there. Anything else to look at? No, not really. The other stock looks the same. I'm starting to see prices soften big time. You know, they're shooting for the moon and nobody's nobody's biting. So you're starting to see the big... Uh, the big discounts start to happen. I've been noticing it more and more on on, uh, on Guitar Center. They're like, will you pay this much? And then they're finding out, no, actually, no one will. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like my, my mic is down here. I'm all the way up. I'm at max volume. You can't do better than that. Anyway, that's it. That's the reverse. You know, reverso change -o. I'd still put a mint guard on it. Here's the bird's eye fretboard instead of the bird's eye neck. The rosewood neck instead of the bird's eye neck. That's a lot, though. I paid eight ninety nine for this one. And the one before this, I think I paid twelve ninety nine for. So, you know. And I've seen them for fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, ninety-nine for years. Again, I know this is a bit of a rare one, but.
but twenty four ninety nine feels a bit like an overreach, especially because I think new they went for twenty two ninety nine or twenty one ninety nine. So that's like literally three hundred dollars over list over no not list retail list was I think twenty nine ninety nine. Um. And retail was around, geez, twenty one ninety nine, twenty two ninety nine, somewhere. The dealer had flexibility. You know, maybe twenty two ninety. Maybe you could get one on sale for nineteen ninety nine. But a lot of them were, you get them. They're all lacquer. You know. You know. Speaking of the moon, how's your crypto doing? Got out of Doge last year, did great, yeah. And I really need my crypto to go up too. Asking FTX where your 400 mil went. They're like, we got hacked, bro. It happens. Yeah, buddy, you might call me the other day. It's a lock because we have so little money in a crypto. I mean, it's like ridiculously small sums, but it's kind of kind of funny. It's like it's just the crypto suicide prevention hotline. You remember when you were like sixty-one thousand? It's going to the moon. Was it sixteen thousand? <laughs> it's going to. It's going to go to eight thousand. Ah. What's up, Pete? Explain crypto a little. Is it actually real? No, it's not real. It's only worth what someone believes it to be. Like a lot of things, quite frankly. So, what the thing is is that I I could have bought um, Bitcoin when it was thirty five dollars a coin, and uh, I. It's like thirty-five dollars. I thought I thought it was supposed to be a dollar, like one to one. And they're like, no, no, it's actually worth more than a dollar. I'm like, why? How is Bitcoin worth thirty-five dollars a coin? That sounds stupid. And sure enough, it fell to like seventeen. I was like, ha, losers. Please. I probably should have bought a couple, even with what it's going for right now. To be a nice little chunk. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> that's true. Um, it's, uh, it's almost saying some of the cryptos are, are, are dead now. Uh, yeah, just go to um, who probably has it. I think. Um, Yahoo Finance has it. They have the, you know, like sort of the crypto chart of all the cryptos and just sort by price. And then go down to the bottom and you're in a dead zone. There's probably 50 cryptos listed that have a value of zero. You know, maybe 100 cryptos that are with a value of absolute zero. So let's pause. <laughs> Tell you what is um, 
really good right now is the dollar against the euro. Dollar's really strong against the euro right now. So stuff from Toman is as cheap as it's been since I've been buying stuff there. Um, same with the pick guy, because he's in Switzerland, also on the Euro. Um, no, it's 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 pretty good. It, it's really good. It's like a one-to-one -one ratio. Whereas even six months ago, eight months ago, it was like a dollar fifteen. I remember as much as like a dollar twenty, dollar eighteen, dollar twenty to buy a Euro. Now it's like ninety-nine cents to a dollar to buy a Euro. So um, a lot of those Harley Bentons are cheaper. Just because you, you don't have to spend that extra, you know, 15 to 20 percent on uh, euro conversion. And the shipping still kills me. Yeah, and the shipping got more expensive, too. The only good thing with the shipping is that I believe it's enough weight for two guitars. So the smart shopper will wait until they have enough money for two guitars to sort of maximize the, maximize the cost of shipping. I think they'll ship two. Uh, for the flat rate because it has X amount of poundage and square inches and even if you buy one guitar you pay that flat rate and if you buy two guitars it's the same rate so then it just goes up from there but I think you can squeeze two on the on the shipping order I might be wrong on that but that's what I remember it was sort of like the sort of the buying trick for Toman <laughs> See, did you keep the Eric Johnson strat? I did. See, there I hear a 60, 60 cycle hum. What's up, Dwight? Shipping on the Harley Benton kit was the same as the kit. Damn. That's gotta hurt. We review Tonex capture. Probably not. Um, I don't really have I mean what I, when am I gonna capture the the deluxe forty, I guess. Am I gonna capture my 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 boss? Uh, go go capture the katana. <laughs> Ah. It seems like a lot of work for what's the purpose? Someone else will capture it and have a better amp or whatever. I don't know. Besides, I wasn't all that crazy about the Tonex tones. I thought they were just sort of okay. I think this battery's dying. I feel like this volume is low. <laughs> Do you have to pay tax on Tone stuff? No. Still clicking? No. You know why? Because I'm a certified goddamn genius. Never forget that. Ah, uh, joy clicking until you solve it. The IT man's hidden secret. Super genius. Ugh. You know what, Terry? You're right. It is time to go over it. Let me, uh, hold on. Just let me just set this up. A little bit here and a little bit there. And we go here. We go over there. Oh, yeah. Does not have normal. I just go like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, what happens? 
Can you see it? There? Yeah, there you go. So there's that phase stone. So that's on the two. But there's the one. A little subtler, you know. That's the color. Again, there's one that's like the the sort of like the mild version, and then you got extra saucy. Now, compare that to. And I got that level all the way up. I mean, it's not bad, but I really like that. You know, and then that's a mix with the effect. Here it is halfway. But I like it all the way up. And then you can put it to like the milder one. And when you faster speed, this is for the kids out there. Uh, faster speed on the on the phaser, slower playing. I don't have a compressor. I think there's one at the start. No, there's no compressor. Um, though who knows what they do, like how do they set these up? Maybe they feel like compression is a part of the algorithm. Who friggin' knows? I really like that. It's a, it's a, it, 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 it's pretty good. <laughs> um, let me go down to here, and I think it's around here. Okay. So this is where it really, where, where it really sort of starts. Is with this uh, striver, which I love too. Really, really good. Um, and then the next one is this atmosphere verb. Right? And then... I'm on the high input setting. I'm pretty sure. Again, there's the low color, high color. Pretty cool. Uh, that's the the phase stone. See how that's different? Right, because it's like two interacting with each other out of phase. Daddy, you fool to cry.
Um, again, right now this THU is like 290 bucks or almost 300 bucks wait in like literally three weeks it's going to be on sale because I, I got a buddy cat. All right, so this is a little patch I was working on. This has got this has got a bunch of stuff. So this is the new module. So let's just turn this off. We'll check out the this little. If you like the volume, it's a little low. That's the modular verb, which adds modulation on the verb. On the reverb section, I feel like I need to be. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Just just enough to set it a little over. That's this new modular verb. No verb. You can hear the um, the verb itself. You can hear how it kind of swirly. This controls like the the depth of the swirl and the speed of the swirl. Then how much is mixed in? And these are long, you know, these are like big delays. And then there's also this reverse delay. Which is pretty cool, but it's even cooler when you hit the stereo a little bit. And it works. Um, can add the the uh, phaser to it. All Hendrix out. And then you add the verb. Now, the reason why I spread the verb out and took it away from it, let's bring that mix down a little bit. is because the modular reverb was washing out the delays. So I had to put them on two separate tracks or else the delay going into the modular reverb. All right, so if I went like this, you don't, not quite the same. It's not quite the same as this. All right. And then, oh, yeah. So, this is a This is, they have this new rotary. I had the drive down. Th that's not the most recent, th but this is a recent uh, effect uh, ad for them. It's just down in this area. All right, more. 
Oh yeah, there's where I did it in the... Oh, I had some by themselves here. Yeah, there's just the reverse delay. And where's this? Yeah. So I put the... I like the reverse delay. I got the reps way down on this because I was doing it more for like, you can turn the reps up. I feel like this whole thing is just a little low though. Anyway, uh, is there one after this? Mod verb? I think that was more. Right, right. I think it's the one before, and I was fooling around with this reverse delay one. So I could add this here. And then, yeah. With the clean. And then if you want distortion, you just turn this gain up a little bit. Yeah, the phase stone is uh, new. It came out this week. So if you have the full edition, just do the update. And um, it adds this and these two pedals here. So um, you're listening to all three of the new pedals. Reverse delay. The modular verb. And the phase stone. Again, this is a patch I put together in like five minutes before I started the show. And I think that sounds awesome. And 
I, I, I'll tell you right now. One of my least favorite pedals of all time is like a reverse delay. I, I, I never found the use for them. I got to say, I'm kind of liking this reverse delay. It's just, I don't know. It, it seems to be working for me. I don't, maybe it's because it's stereo and I just think it sounds cooler. But I've just never been a reverse delay guy. It just never been really my thing. And uh, I, I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of I'm kind of digging the whole thing. Anyway, uh, before we put everyone to sleep here, let me uh, go back here and unlatch this and get it back up here. And oh, here we go. Where's my Where's my normal? Right there. Nice. Put the put the phaser on. does not have a univibe so i think one of their biggest failings they have one that that says it's a univibe but it doesn't sound very good I, i've talked it over with a few friends and we all agree that their univibe is garbage so we've tried it a few times and it's it's um let's just say less than inspiring i think these latest pedals that they've put out this new uh stone phase and the the, the all three the modular all of it I think they're really nice. Uh, they're really up in their game, uh, you know, with, with some of the modulation and uh, delay effects, you know. Um, so I'd like to see them do a, an updated vibe, come out with a, a, maybe this stone phase is sort of their version of a vibe in, in, in mode number two. That's their, that's their attempt at a, at a vibe. I'm not really sure, right? Cause it's like two phases against each other. <laughs> Have you tried the rock eye? Yeah, I think we tried one of their patches. The Helix U the vibes are good. I, um, you know, I, I, we, every time we try the softer, you know, I'm sure that Helix hardware is better. And I heard they just came out with a, with a new update, but I, I, I think every time we, we go and, and, and try the software, we're underwhelmed. I mean, especially compared to THU, I think we, uh, the general consensus is uh, uh, it, it's not as, as strong, especially in the uh, distorted patches as uh, THU. <laughs> What about spring reverb, uh, reverb and surf rock sounds? Oh, it can certainly do it because um, you have to remember that uh, um, the guys who developed uh, THU, uh, in fact, I should just move it over here. Um, they have a, um, so, right, so that's the modular verb. Uh, but they make a thing called breverb, which is their 
Like, yeah. Like. I'd have to know how to set the settings on it. I can set the boinginess. There's spring reverb there. Hey, Ben Tom, thanks, man. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I, I'd say it's underwhelming. That's the that's the one. I usually use, which is the stereo, just a stereo reverb, and the new one is uh, all inverse, plate, room, shimmer, striverb, atmosverb. And of course, uh, the module. The problem is, is that I had those up from the spring, and now THU will look at your prior settings and make the reverb the same settings. That's a little better. See if you're going to update your patch, uh, THU patch bank. I will. Maybe I'll do that right before uh, Thanksgiving. And uh, around, right after, like the weekend of Black Friday. Why don't we do that? We'll target the weekend of Black Friday. Because uh, I have to go in and clean it up because I found out some people don't have some of the extra gear. And if you don't have it, it won't work. You need to have a suitable piece of gear to work with it. So I, what I need to do is clean it up for people so no extra money needs to be spent to make the patch work. See what I'm saying? So if it's like an extra add-on, you don't have to do that. You just If you have just THU, which was my goal when I put that out, it'll work. You don't need to buy any, you know, rigs or patches or anything like that. So um, I, in that sense, I because I remember last time... There was one patch and it needed an outside peep. So when people loaded it, they said, you don't have the hardware necessary to run it. And uh, it was like, oh, so it's annoying. So uh, I, I got to make sure that those are all pulled out. And then I'll, I'll put it out. I'll put it out for Black Friday. That way, if you get it that weekend, hopefully you'll be having the sale again. Uh, I think of Ben... <clears throat> ben Tom says, I think I'm going to sell my quad cortex. I've only used it twice in the two months I've had it. It feels fake to you. really sounds great, but feels fake. Interesting. Now stick it to your rack. Right, small tube amps. Right, right. All right, hold on. Where's my... I need to... I need... Uh... This, I like this. It's a bit. This is a bit loud, though. It's like a sleeve one. No. Blues? Or uh, this is the one I usually use. A little, little hotter. Now would be a good time to insert ads. 
YouTube, always with the ads. And what do I click this? And it inserts an ad? I don't want to click it. I'm worried if I click it, it's going to insert an ad. I in tune. I'm, I feel like I'm up. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it's a touch out, but certainly within. Oh, there it is. Always with the D. Oh, and your B, too. Your B is a, a little flat. Like a B flat? Not quite, but you know. La, 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 la. <laughs> Hmm. I do like this guitar. You can tell it's lacquer because my arm is sticking to it. It's warmed up. It was slippery when I first put it on, but now as it's getting warmer, it's getting a little bit on the a little bit on the sticky side. Maybe do insert five ads in a row more likely. Yeah, I told you on Christmas, on the Christmas show, it's going to be just nothing but ads. Merry Christmas to me. Then in the Christmas spirit, you'll have to sit through them all. What's up, Matt? Exactly, it's going to be the, the Christmas adpocalypse. Be a bunch of drug ads. I tried to join a band, but my crappy playing was embarrassing. So I talked to my teacher what I could do. He said CP was curable with practice. What model is that strat? This is the 20, is it the 2013, the 2013 select strat. So they did them in uh, 2011, but that that's the weakest one. That's like a mahogany body. And a, um, you know, that, that's, that's by far the weakest one. I asked Cutie. Um, then the next year they did a, like a flame top with like a, you know, crazy like, you know, uh, flame neck. That was, I think, 2012. 2013, they go channel bound and, you know, bird's eye and all that crap, right? Because it's select, select biatch. And then, uh, then the next year, they do small headstock, still with the, um, still with the channel bound, but a flame neck and, um, a quilt top instead of a flame top. And clay dot inlays. Very different guitar. Of course, my wife will look at it and goes, that is the exact same guitar. Are you, are you crazy? Small head stock. Come on. Flame, bird's eyes, hello. Please. And uh, and I think the 2014 model was a traditional single, 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 not the single, single, double. All right, so it was um, well, a little bit more traditional strat, except the channel bound. And then the next year, that was 2014, I want to say 2015, which was the last year they did the Select Series, it was the Port Orford Cedar body from, I guess, Oregon? Oregon? Oh, yeah, total boner flame. You know, let's go to Flame Cam. 
Oh, there you go. People say, how many flames does it have? All of them. It has all the flames. Flamey McFlame Flame. Flamey McFlame Face. And of course, all the Boyd's. Boyd's with the Boyd's eyes. Oh, it's kind of getting blown out by the cam. What? Hear that? Did you just hear that? What? What? You cry, cry, little bitch cry. She's like, love me, love me. Say that you love me. Do me, do me. <laughs> what? You little poop butt. The poot in the butt in the poot butt. Yeah, this is just a pet me. It's like, you know, you, you finally, your kids grow up, but you got a whole new round with the cats. <laughs> That's what I hear all day. You hear that cry? What? Pat me. Pat me. For Christ's sakes. Leave me alone. Uh, v neck or soft V? It's not. It's not a V. This is a modern C. This is like one of their smaller necks. It's uh, it's very comfortable. I love this neck. It's like one of my favorite necks. But it's not a V. It is definitely a C. It is a uh, it's a modern C, small C. <laughs> Now it's clearly a let me out, please. Oh yeah, no, 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 just wreck the couch. Just tear it up, sure. The furniture they've ruined. Oh my God, the furniture they have ruined. We have cat scratches everywhere, it's never enough. Look, she's looking for something to scratch right now. Right? Why not? Exactly, cat scratch fever. Well, she always says that, look, what? What the hell do you want? She's like, just attention. Get out of there. What are you doing? Come over here. No. There she is. That was Cutie. Cutie Cutie's a biggins. As you could tell. By that fat purr. She's got a bit of a fat purr. <laughs> right? Your big chonka chonkas. Your big chunky chonks. God, this cat. Oh. What should I switch to? We'll let Aljon decide. Aljon. What should I, what should I, what, what guitar should I switch to? We are, we are loaded with choices.
We've got uh, we've got Epis, we've got Kramers, we got Gibsons. We have a full panoply. <laughs> we have a full panoply of of, of instruments. How's Jones thinking? Well, you, you know, sometimes you ask him to, to choose between his his children here. You know, it's a little tricky. You know, to put him on the spot. You know, he's like, like say Kramer, right? Epiphone. Kind of have to say both. <laughs> can't be doing. If I say one or the other, I'm kind of choosing sides here. I really can't be doing that. <laughs> Do we have the SG? Al John said to Charvel, get out of here. Exactly. I can tell you what one of the easier ones to get is the SG. That's like an arm's length away. That's pretty close. The Epi is also an arm's length away. The Kramer is a little bit more locked up behind that amp. That's a little harder to get out. Epi's easy to get. SG is easy to get. You get either one of those very quickly without having to really get up. Which is always good. Uh, probably the um, Epi is more in tune. The SG is probably tuned to D, if I remember correctly. It's kind of tuned down. I see a lot of people saying Epi. Oh, so we'll go Epi. And, um, and Aljon escapes. Makes it out alive. This time. I'm going to nail him down. I'm going to nail him. Right, how's my... Does not have good side of pickups, right? <laughs> over there that has your interest, huh? You just come in by to give me brush buys to say, what am I doing? When you come in here just to flop. Yeah, yeah, she's just flopping over, and she's going, give me a pet. <laughs> Love me, pet me. Then do the pets. And she got the pets. In here, purring up here. Oh. She can't get enough of that sweet, sweet pet action. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, it kind of works with this guitar. You know, I've been playing it with the Strat, but it it, it works with this as well. This might be blown out. Yeah, blown out cam. Uh, can I fix this uh, somehow? Um, let me just take a quick uh, look at the... Uh, well, well, too, too hot. Too hot there, hot shot. So I could probably go here. And Is that a little better. Anyway, you can see it kind of blown out, you know. You can see it a little better. Been sick for a week, coughing and lungs out. Oh, it sounds like the flu. Remember I had the flu once, and people were like, oh, you really get, you know, really bad cough. I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't remember, you know, really remember a cough. I remember like a fever. But it was, it was like a fever, and man, it turned into a cough. I could not stop freaking coughing. I mean, it was like, I couldn't drive because I was worried I was going to start coughing so bad. I'd start to like get a little dizzy, right? You start, you can't even like keep your oxygen in. It's like, it's so bad. You get lightheaded or you get too much oxygen, but... Something's going on. It's not good. So it was really, really bad. That was a that was a Nam Thrax. That was after coming back from Nam, and I and it got extra worse because I came back on Sunday, and then that Monday it was like really cold, and I had to move a bunch of furniture that day, and there was only one day to do it, and there was no changing, and so I did it, and I just went, oh God, like big heavy desks, and you know. And, and man, it was a pain. But we did it, and uh, oh man, that that that's what I think really did me in. I don't think hyperventilating. I would just cough, and I couldn't. You're coughing, and it's like I just want the coughing to stop, and it was just would not. I had never been. I guess one time when I was in school, I remember that I had something like that. Right, you just can't stop coughing. I mean, it's, maybe it's bronchitis or something, you know. Maybe it's a, a lung thing, but it, man, it was bad. That was really bad. Yeah, I remember once in school, I had it. I remember I was out for a couple of days. I finally went in. I was in the class. I started coughing. I had to go in the hallway. I could not stop coughing. And then the same uh, after that in Amthrax, that was like maybe... 2014 or 2015 that happened. Had 
uh, three or four years ago with bronchitis, two months to really shake it. Yeah, that sounds about right, right? It's like, I remember one time I was really, I had, I was, I had trouble breathing. I was waking up in the middle of the night, like, like, like trying to catch my breath. And, uh, it was worse at night. And, um, uh, I wound up, uh, my doctor gave me an, uh, an antibiotic, like a strong antibiotic. And, uh, and that worked real, real fast. I had something going on, bacterial bronchial infection or something, man. But that was rough. I remember waking up going, oh, dude, you're in, this is rough. <laughs> Okay, believe in a thing called love by dark. I don't think I know that tune. Long hits do that too. Sure, well for the uninitiated, definitely. What the hell is this? We call that a steamroller. You're about to get steamrolled. Um, yeah, what's so interesting is, uh, we had a dispensary, uh, a couple of towns over, and, uh, so I went and checked them out, but they were kind of expensive, and the guy's like, yeah, he's like, we, the town won't let us do discounts, can't do any deals, won't let us do it, so they're very, like, restrictive, and, um, the other day I just happened to say, go to their website to see what the hell happened to them and they had like these massive sales and prices were like 40 50 percent off and i was like wow that's crazy and um i found out that they they wound up going to the town and saying like we're gonna go out of business you're like shackling us no other town has this restriction if you don't let us like have sales then like we're going to be out of business because we can't compete. And uh, they agreed. And the other thing is they wouldn't let them carry outside product, like third-party brands. There's so many third-party brands. Uh, and they wouldn't let them do that either. They had to be all in-house. So they had like five different in-house like brands, which was kind of stupid. <laughs> you know? Because the town was so restrictive. It was like really weird, but... Um, they finally relented. They kind of had to. God, it's like, you're going to put them out of freaking business, and then you won't get any... They were so worried about having them have a sale and not collecting their full tax. It's like, well, if they're out of business and they're out of the town, then how many ta how much taxes are you collecting then? It's like, yeah, I guess. Michael, what town? Need him. Need him. You know. The, the place is right by U2 and Electronics, which is like right on the highway. You don't even really drive into the town, right? What is it, about 500 yards, 1,000 yards off the freaking highway? <laughs> like right there. Right? It's there. I think they're behind U2 and Electronics, if you're familiar with that. Now, there's a place I've been to a few times. I mean, it's not crazy as with apparently what's going on up in Canada, but... Nothing but sales around there. You were telling me, God... Yeah, prices aren't that, they're not, uh, prices aren't, uh, as cheap as they are up there. You were telling me they were, they were like, ridiculously cheap. I'm kind of oversaturated. You've been to you do it? Yeah, I mean, if you're into electronics at all, um, or, a, 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 you know, television, audio, visual, you know, 
you find yourself going over there. You, they have something you need. Of course, the internet has really wiped a lot of that out, but they seem to have survived. They really tried to, they're upstairs, they really turned it into, they were trying to do TVs and be like Best Buy and Circuit City, but I don't, I don't know if they're ever going to compete with those, you know, especially Circuit City. Yeah, it's a tough world out there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but they seem to survive with the first floor of You Do It, which is all the um, electronic supplies. I know, $10 an ounce, that is insane. That is insane. A buck sixty a pound. That's crazy. Just type THU into YouTube, and this is the third video. Nice. Cute to boots. Boot cutes. Cute boots with the umbrella tail. Do, 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 do. I'm going to get your butt, butt, butt. I'm getting your butt. Am I going to get sponsored by a dispensary? I don't know. They seem to be rolling in cash. <laughs> Bring it on. Go on down to Joe's Buds and speak to the bud tenders. Only the hottest. Oh, oh by THU? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's the one company. I mean, I, they got to remember they're Italian. Maybe there's a language barrier. But uh, I know. That's because that's cause my use of THU kind of predated my success on YouTube. Right? So free milk on a cow, right? You already, you already landed that. <laughs> I thought you said THC. I, I do. I need a. I need a friggin. Uh, I need a dispensary sponsor. Yep, THU and THC together at last. Buddy went, but Ben isn't home and the wife is still out. Do I own a Fender Tone Master? I do not. I gotta do a THC patch. <laughs> THC you. So you know what would be better is I had the gate up a little bit because of the single coils. But 
I think. Not by much. I think. Yeah. Exactly, the phaser is a THC patch. I have to have a THC section of the uh, patch bag. What is so interesting over in that corner? Poop butt. Who's got a poop butt? Who can who can tell me where that quote's from? Michael Jackson got a poop butt. Who's got a poop butt? Name that movie. I don't think so. I don't think it's Pix. I think she sees that corner and she's surmising whether she can make it down there. That's the carbon fiber guitar. It's pretty awesome. It's right here. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you better run. Hey, this just the, the cases. It's got the stitching. You know, it's like, uh, you know, it's got the embroidered, the old stitcheroony. Did you go this way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I suppose I should just take this guitar off or I'm going to wind up dropping it here. Hold on. Wait, wait. Oh. Turn my double neck into a single neck. Da -da -da. Yeah. Right there. Though I have the uh I have the strap on it already. I suppose I could hold on. Of course, um, there's no reverb. keep this on. I, I like the electric. It's hard when it's not electric. That's it. So I don't see why you couldn't put a piezo in it. You probably could. Yeah, I'm not really set up to do an acoustic video. I'd need to get a, um, I'd need to get a, um, condenser mic. You know, I'm not going to sit here with a lab mic. I, I just, you know, it sounded pretty crappy through my headphones. So, I'm assuming it sounded crappy everywhere. Got to get a use of the right mic. And the mic is literally facing away from it. So, you know what? You're missing all the highs and you're only getting the bass notes, right? 
because the highs are, it's not good. <laughs> it sounded good on the demo. I thought it sounded good, you know. Um, but if I was going to do it in a live show, I would have to set up that same microphone that I used, or I think I might have a pencil mic that would work as a shotgun as well. But basically, you need to set up a nice condenser mic, and then you're going to hear a lot of room noise, because it's sensitive. I had to shut all the fans off in here, which is which is rare for down here. Those, those fans run 24-7. I have like three fans that never shut off down here. <laughs> Proper modulation. I do like that stone phaser though, huh? It is nice. It's nice. You're nice. No, you are. You are good. Where's that one I liked? This one? Turn that on. Turn this on. Fire might work if it had a laser cut slat top. Yo, you mean like a um, what? It's like a sound. Hole? It has a sound hole. Um, what it really needs is like a piezo, and it's you could do it if you were willing to live without a volume knob, right? Uh, you could easily just stick a. Although you probably would need a volume knob and a battery because it is a piezo. So I think all piezos are going to need some sort of a preamp. Right. There's no way you're doing it without it. You're not getting away with this without a preamp, now that I think of it. All right. It's going to have to take a battery. So you got to drill out the end, put a new end pin in, one with the jack, or drill through the side of the guitar, which, you know, being the composite, I bet it would, I bet it, it's, it, it's probably pretty easy to actually drill through it. Uh, the, the real problem is snaking the, the cable and the jack through, right? And get, getting the whole apparatus inside without with the guitar uh, already, you know, completely built. Um, and no big center sound hole. The sound hole is in the upper corner. That makes it even a little trickier to do the do the electronics work. But yeah, pull the bridge out. Stick a piezo in there. Drill a hole through the bottom. Run the line through. You'd have to solder it up or connect it up with some sort of a preamp with a battery. We'll probably have a, uh, a volume knob, and then that whole thing would go out to an output jack that would either be the end pin or you'd add a jack. Uh, I'd have to take a look inside with a scope, but I'm thinking the end pin. I have a Vox? Nope. Never owned a Vox. I've never owned a Marshall amp. Never owned a Marshall. 
What do I own for brands for amps? Crate, PV, Boss. Um, of course, now I have Hughes and Kettner and, uh, and Fender. I was a big Fender guy. I was mostly played Fenders when I was younger. <laughs> Um, Supro, had a Supro when I was a kid, had the Supro, definitely Peavy, definitely Crate and Fender, and I think I had an off-brand like Sundown, it was a terrible brand. A high watt. I'm trying to think if I owned a Laney. Because we're a Laney dealer. Oh, I had a Roland JC 120. Yeah, I had a Panama. I had a bunch of Panamas. What? Yeah, I'm still sitting here. No, I'm not doing anything. Uh, Buddy figured it out. I had a JC120. That was it. Um, um, what of Fenders? Twins, Princeton Chorus, Super 60s. Um, be it. And I want to say it was 94. I think it was 94 or 95. 94? I bought a Digitech Valve Effects. I still have it. And they had a cab simulator that you could just turn on and just say, turn on the cab sim simulator for the entire effect. And that was pretty much once I, I transitioned more to the headphones. I was living in an apartment. Couldn't really run a live amp. And I went over to the, the Valve Effects for years. And then slowly transitioned out of the Valve Effects to the... Uh, to the software. Uh, what do you use the audio board for? My uh, mic my microphone won't work with my focus right. It's a long story, but it's two mono signals that get inverted. One signal gets inverted. And when you invert two signals and combine them, you get nothing. Okay, it's the out of phase one wipes out the other one. It's expecting one of them to be out of phase through a balanced cable, but it's not. They're both in phase. So by reversing it, it actually puts them out of phase and it doesn't work. So I have to go through this, which still has a regular input jack. Not that stupid jack in the focus, right? Which I get why they do it, that they want it to be a balanced signal. But Bobby had the hardest thing. He got it going. I forget. I think he bought a transformer or a transducer or something. He got it to work. He finally got it going. But I just went to this. And I like it because I can work the volume. I can, you know, very easily just shut it off. I bought this in, I got this as a Christmas present, I think, in 2000. And man, it's still going. This is a uh, this is a testament to um, how quickly things go from hot to not. 
these were uh twelve ninety nine digital mixer. Let's see it was twelve ninety nine. And they're probably selling for like nine ninety nine or eight ninety nine in the store, something like that. And uh they quickly got down to like five ninety nine, four ninety nine I think we got this one at three ninety nine right before Christmas, and uh, they were clearing them out. They were on clearance. They're going. We might have we might have got an open box to save a little bit of money. Any chance for a U up? Not the way I'm feeling right now, highly unlikely. I am yawning. I know more coffee. I think there is no more coffee. Oh, there is in this cup though. But yeah, the coffee's gone upstairs. Hmm. Exactly, no one was home last week. Fresh pot, get a fresh pot going. I am ready. I'm ready for, uh, I'm ready for something. <laughs> Dave, it looks better with the off white pick guard. Really does. The other one was too bright. Look, looks better, I think. You know? pretty quick uh it's cooling down but we're still pretty warm we were 74 today this morning 72 74 is that rain because what happened that big storm that went through the east it was kind of west of us but we were on the warm side the other side's on the cold side and the wet side we were on the warm and windy side and it just dragged all this air out of the south crazy crazy we just broke records for Longest two-week stretch in November, highest low, like overnight low ever recorded in November, and warmest first two weeks on record, because we've just had this big southerly wind. <laughs> Beat something stronger than coffee. Someone ordering up an eight ball. May, better make it a couple. I mean, let's face it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bruins and Sabres uh, tied 1 1, just finished up second period. Nice. It really, it snowed. Yeah, I heard out in the Midwest you guys were getting a little bit of snow. They said we might see a few flakes here on uh, Wednesday. We're going from, um, you know, 60s and 70s we've had for the last week, like crazy warm. Do I think we're not going to break out of the 40s this whole week? It's going to be, it's going to be rather chill. It's all right. It's time. Love your stream, but you make me so mad. Mad as in angry or mad as in crazy? Very different. Big 
exactly. No more eight balls. I tell you, I like that reverse, you know. I usually don't like reverse ones, but it's, it's, it's working. Your dad's a player, but the skill skipped you. I think it's time to have a talk with your mom. Clearly, you ruined me. Hey, Dad, Dad's doing it. Somehow I don't have it. If it makes you feel any better, I've been playing for 50 years. That, even by my own admission, is a, is a, is a pretty pretty long time. Uh, speaking of long times, I've had the same cell phone cell number in continuous uh, service for 30 years. Had my 30th anniversary in uh, September of this year, and my 50th anniversary of playing guitar in September of this year, so, you know, it's a pretty good run. Maybe even Tide will send you an H90 for Christmas. Uh, I wish they would. I mean, come on, even Tide. They're sending them, seems like everybody's getting one. Everyone but me. So sad. Everybody got one. Some people got three. Got nothing. Is that the U is that UPS? No. No, it isn't. <sighs> Will Steve ever get a V? <laughs> now tune in next week. A good one, Speaker. Oh, you know what? That's a great idea, Speaker. We do have to get together and take our singer friend out for lunch again. I would enjoy that. We should do that. You know what it'll be? It'll be a, it'll be a metal Thanksgiving. We have to, <laughs> we have to get together and do a Thanksgiving with them. <laughs> Go hit the Chick Fil A. Exactly, it probably got stolen off my porch. Turkey with our buddy, I know. That sounds good. It'll be a rehearsal, a rehearsal dinner.
Foxworth trying to learn how to play, but can't figure out uh, where to start. I always recommend at the beginning. It's the best place to start. And just take it one step at a time. Put one foot in front of the other. Soon you'll be walking across the floor. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking out that door. You have any guitars with stainless steel frets? Yeah, I think that Ert has stainless steel. What else has stainless steel? Um, I think that Ert does. I think uh, I got a couple. Which, uh, I think the that Harley Benton I was playing last week, I think those are stainless frets, right? Pretty sure. Got a couple. Sure. Hey, thank you for all your personal involvement, hard work sharing with us. Well, I try. Not really, though. Quite, quite frankly, it's a bit lazy. <laughs> the burger meister, meister burger. <laughs> Just have these magic beans. <laughs> I don't have anything left. God, that, that pretty much it was that. Uh, Rankin Bass. Same people who did um, Frosty and Rudolph and pretty much all of those. The 60s. Though the worst one, I mean, without a doubt, is uh, the New Year's one. Right? Baby New Year's or something like that. Oh God! It's so I remember watching. I remember watching them all with my kids, and we got to that one. I'm like, this is just god awfully bad. It's just horrible. <laughs> uh, the top is made of uh, flamed maple. Let's go to flamed maple cam. It's a two piece maple top. Hand lacquered and stained by only the finest Mexicans in the U.S. plant. What's the difference between a made in Mexico guitar and a made in USA guitar? Well, in Mexico, your guitar is made by Mexicans. And in the U.S. plant, your, well, your guitar is made by Mexicans. <laughs> No, I'm not running a DI box. I only have to do that when the, um, you gotta remember that first gen preamp and the focus rights were way too hot. That was the problem. That's why I had to use DI box. Because they made the preamps too hot. And it, a strat was too hot for it. I mean, it, it was just ridiculous. They fixed that. They openly touted, you know, a better frequent, a better um, dynamic range. You know, a, a, uh, what do I say? They just, they tweaked the preamps to be to handle guitars without needing the DI box every freaking time. Gen 2 still had issues? Yeah. This is Gen 3, and it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Only the, you know, really the hottest guitar. I do have a couple guitars that are so hot they still have to go through. You know, probably shouldn't have bought that Seymour Duncan Invader. Don't get your watch near it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's a bit of a magnetic field. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I have. I have Gen 3. The old Gen 3. Well, what, well, you know what? It must be after 9 because YouTube was asking me to run an ad. Now, what happens if I, you know, what happens if I click this? Is it, holy crap, did it just insert an ad? <laughs> for, the, for those of you with ad blockers, can you still see me? Ha, ha, ha. 
<sighs> Did it go to an ad? Did it really? Oh my God. So some, okay, so who got the ad and who didn't get an ad? So, so it looks like some people, gummies? Were they like CBD gummies? <laughs> you have premiums and no ad. It, it did, it went to an ad? Wow. Well, the thing is, I thought it was gonna drop down a box. I thought it was gonna drop a box down and like give me a choice to like run it, but it didn't. It said now would be a good time to run an ad. So I was waiting for it the box to run and it just it just like flashed. I said, Oh, I think it ran. So some people got ads and some people didn't. So of the people who got ads, are you watching on your phone or on a tablet? I wonder if that's the difference. I wonder if it's the device. Like if you're on a phone or a tablet, you just got ad and dated. But if you're on a PC, maybe not so much. You got THC and eight ball ads. Well, they're listening. <laughs> Do it again. Add on the phone. Got an ad on the phone. On a PC. You got an ad. Okay. Ad block. Okay. No ad on the PC. Laptop and got the ad. Laptop got an ad. Laptop. Okay. Chromebook and no ad. Interesting. On the phone, you got the ad. See, I think the phones, I really think they target mobile devices. It seems to me like they target mobile devices in a major way. All right, anyway, experiment over. I won't click it again unless you really want me to. You really want me to? I mean, <laughs> it went to an ad. That is so funny. Oh, man. Well, there you go. Well... Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to hit that every five seconds on Christmas, all right? It's going to be just an ad. I'm going to say, and you know what the secret to life is? <laughs> I'm just going to wham and nail that ad. I almost did it right then, but I'm, I, won't, I won't inundate you with another ad. No, you rock with ads. A PC gummy ad. There you go. <laughs> uh, hit us up with an ad when you leave. All right. I'll try and I'll, I'll try. No, you rock. Um, I'll definitely see you guys in a week. Uh, super thanks for everyone for hanging out. Super extra thanks uh, to anyone who contributed. That's always appreciated. And of course, bro fist to my mod squad. Hashtag mod squad. All right, so draw in a little closer. Here we go. I'm going to tell you the secret of life right now. You ready? The secret of life is. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit the ad button again. Now, I wonder if they won't run it again because I just ran one. You wonder if they... Did they run another one? Did, did they run another one? Or did they not run it because it's too quick? No ad. Interesting. So that's interesting. So it was probably too soon, right? You can't run them. So I'll have to, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to work that out. It looks like they want me to run it at certain times and they tell me it's time to run an ad. So again, Christmas. Oh, the ads were going to run nonstop. All right, dudes, have a great week. No ad now. Yeah, see, I think it's because we already ran it. They won't let me just keep clicking the button no matter how many times I want to. Damn it. All right, dudes, you rock. I'll see you guys in a week. Get it greedy if you run it too soon. I know, God. I guess it's one person's definition of greedy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I did wait a couple of minutes. <clears throat> Some of those podcasts, like the Jim Gray podcasts, he's got about two minutes of talking and then a, a full-on two-minute you know, live read 
That guy, I think they counted it. He had like 48 ads in like a in a, in a one hour period. It's squeezing in them, squeezing in them live reads. All right, dudes. See you guys in a week at the very least. And uh, there you have it. I'm I'm very energized by that ad. So maybe we'll 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 try it out later. See how many we can run in an hour. All right. What? Anyway, no, you rock. The ad did have. Did it have a countdown to skip? Did it really? That's interesting. So you could skip the ad. Interesting. I don't know. Wow, that's crazy. Anyway. All right, guys. You rock. See you in a week. Until then, have a great week. And we'll see you next week. And until then, rock on. Later.